Did you know that Kamala Harris accepted and apparently kept the campaign donations from convicted rapist Harvey Weinstein? Oh, yeah. Actress and Me Too activist Rose McGowan called out Joe Biden's running mate, Senator Harris, for previously accepting convicted rapist Harvey Weinstein's money. It was apparently never returned, and she still has it. Yikes. Did you know that Kamala Harris backs the Green New Deal? Maybe the world's dumbest political proposal ever presented in world history? Harris became one of the first senators in 2019 to back Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Green New Deal. You know, the one that's going to get rid of planes and farting cows by 2030. Uh, that's all the cars, all the planes, all the factories, all housing that already exists, etc., etc. Write this down. Dumbest plan in world history, and the United States would go back to, well, basically the Stone Age. Did you know that Kamala Harris helped introduce Senator Sanders' Medicare for All Act of 2019 to the public, and she was an original co-sponsor in the Senate for Medicare for All? It became a cornerstone of her presidential campaign until she reached a, a face scrutiny over whether or not that meant abolishing private health insurance. You know, where you keep your own doctor and go to him or her if you like her. Harris initially came clean when responding to a question about the status of private health insurance under her plan in a CNN town hall last year when she said, ah, let's eliminate all of that, meaning private health insurance. Let's just move on. Is that going to change? Did you know that Harris even went so far as to ask her supporters to donate to the Minnesota Freedom Fund to post bail for rioters in police custody? As she said, quote, if you're able to chip in now to the Minnesota Freedom Fund to help post bail for those protesting on the ground. And it was just revealed that the Minnesota Freedom Fund, the one she's raising all those millions for in recent weeks, has bailed out individuals, including Darnica Floyd, who was charged with second degree murder after allegedly stabbing a friend to death. And Christopher Boswell, who is facing charges of sexual assault and kidnapping. The group put up $100,000 to bail out Floyd and $350,000 on behalf of Boswell. Minnesota Freedom Fund received about $35 million in the wake of Floyd's death. Thank you, Kamala Harris. And none of that money goes to the police officers killed or the bystanders killed. And get this, some of the money donated has come from a number of Biden staffers who donated to this group and then tweeted about it proudly. And Harris, a former prosecutor who served as the Attorney General of California for six years, promotes the fund herself in a recent tweet telling her followers that the group would be able to help protesters swept up in clashes with police as unrest gripped Minneapolis. I'm horrified. I hope you are too. Did you know that Harris is firmly anti-Second Amendment? Oh yeah. Kamala Harris actively promotes an even more virulent strain of gun control than is in the, well, the rest of Congress. Her views are antithetical to what the founders stood for with their Second Amendment. Harris has already pledged to Democrats that she wouldn't hesitate to pass sweeping gun control via executive action if she had to. Forget the fact that it's unconstitutional. You can't undo the Constitution with a pen in the Oval Office, but that's what she's promising. Did you know that Kamala Harris once made a joke about President Trump dying on national TV? Yep, on The Ellen Show, here's the clip. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? 
does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> I'm not laughing. Did you know that Kamala Harris voted with the 13 radicals in the Senate to cut defense spending, including pay for our military in uniform? Uh-huh. Senator Harris voted support for defunding the Pentagon in July when she stopped just short of endorsing Senator Bernie Sanders' proposal to gut the Defense Department's budget for the coming fiscal year perhaps considering the electoral consequences of an action that boldly. Harris released a statement unequivocally agreeing on the need to cut defense spending. She then joined the 13 other senators, the radicals in the Senate, to vote against the 2021 National Defense Authorization Act, which authorizes military-related expenditures, including pay for troops in combat. Get this one. Did you know that out of the 100 senators, the number one most liberal progressive senator of them all is Kamala Harris. GovTrack, a nonpartisan source of government information and statistics, rated Harris as 2019's most liberal U.S. senator. I'm serious more liberal than Chuck Schumer, more liberal than Elizabeth Warren. Heck, even more liberal than whack job Bernie Sanders. Out of a hundred, she's the worst. Did you know that Harris would destroy our energy independence almost immediately by banning all fracking and offshore oil drilling 100%? Uh-huh. In a CNN town hall in October, Harris emphatically stated that she is in favor of banning both fracking and offshore oil drilling. On the whole, Harris's recently proposed energy policies veer far into the doomsday scenarios, really, peddled by the radical left, accompanied by drastic solutions to what she's going to cause. So we would go from energy independent for the first time in half a century to dependent again on Saudi Arabia. Thanks for joining us today on ATP Report. Remember, you can subscribe to our free text message service so you get this and all of our shows on your cell phone for free. Simply text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. Push send. You'll be automatically subscribed. All of our shows like this one will come to your cell phone absolutely free, and you don't have to do a thing but look down into the palm of your hand. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Nussbaum.